are we heading towards the roaring 20s or the Great Depression 2.0? Hopefully the roaring 20s, but go on. (laughs) So there is conflicting information coming out about our economic outlook going forward. Mm -hmm. Do you know about these uh, different claims? No, no, I actually don't. Okay, so right now the the economy is showing a weird sign of like it's it's still like holding strong truthfully mm-hmm. it hasn't crashed at all and consumer spending is is holding fast um and the stock market is doing pretty well oh yeah okay i actually have heard about this it's a, it's essentially the american consumer is holding up the economy because they're the amount of spending that they are doing Mm -hmm. um but also everyone's in debt (laughs) yeah for the most part so to build on that so these there's a lot of signs that are saying like okay so consumer spending's through the roof it's it's still doing really well and now just like in the 20s there are now advancements that are leading to more efficiencies in the economy hmm so the whole topic today is going to be like centered around whether these advancements are going to improve the quality of life or actually like destroy the quality of life of people. Yeah, and those advancements are robotics and AI. <laughs> yes, and those are huge because literally this is emerging like this is like yeah like if we think about it like in our lifetimes we've had huge advancements Mm -hmm. literally made a bunch of a bunch of quality of life increases and i think yes you're right i think robotics and ai is making life easier for the most part yeah so the whole thing behind that is that like with efficiencies becomes more profit we just have to look towards like one company in particular open ai yeah to see how much money people can get by riding the ai boom so open ai or nvidia nvidia like skyrocketed because there's a lot of computing power needed for these ai technologies so the only thing that like i think this um theory or or idea that we're going to be hitting this economic like wave Mm -hmm. i think the thing that's missing is that what are the people going to do? Yeah, you're right. Because, like, um, with these other things, like, um, they still needed people to use, like, calculators, use computers to um, continue stuff. But at some point, like, the machines are are becoming more and more like us, and we're becoming more and more, I guess, expendable in a way, to where um, they wouldn't need us to work on the assembly lines because now we have... Robots. Tesla robots or other robots working the assembly line, you know, like we don't need to do inspection and have a whole bunch of inspectors. We have spot robot dogs running around. I, I don't know if this was you that told me this, but it was, I know someone told me this. It's mm-hmm. like, you know, the advancement of the calculator, the calculator made it easy to do mm-hmm. large, complicated math, um, math problems fairly easy. But now that you have, Things like um, OpenAI's ChatGPT, mm-hmm. you can literally just type it in and it would spit out even faster and explain everything yeah. in the process or show different processes on how to get that. And like literally, like it would give you as much information as you ask it for because like a calculator mm-hmm. is only going to sp- uh, spit out an answer, but this could actually tell you tell you how we got there. I mean, even before then, like before ChatGPT, there was a uh, Wolfram Alpha. Do you remember Wolfram? Oh, I do. Yeah. So uh, that's a throwback. But yeah. Yeah, So like Wolfram is basically this really powerful computing website Mm -hmm. and you can plug in um, different math equations or math problems and it'll give you kind of like the the explanation of why it's a certain way. Mm -hmm. And so I think like in terms of that, you wouldn't need ChatGPT. There's like other things that already. That's crazy. But that's already like. Yeah. Yeah, so we already okay. had that. Yeah, but, we, already did, we did already have that. But in regards to the other innovations, I do think that this um, increase in productivity will only be helpful for a certain, I guess, class of people. So when I say that, I mean like the rich getting richer, like people mm-hmm. who live off of their investments, I think are going to be doing really well. 
But if you're like a blue collar or someone who, I mean, basically a lot of different like jobs are going to be taken away. So if you're like, even if you're doing like a business job or like um, other thing, your job is not safe. And I'll continue that after you consider hitting that subscribe button. We come out with interesting topics like this daily and we cover a wide variety of videos like sometimes AI, sometimes, you know, like it could be anything. Yeah, it could be anything. Yeah. Except certain things. Except certain things, yes. But yeah, we do come out with videos daily. Mm -hmm. We have a library of 200 videos closing in on 300. And yeah, subscribing free doesn't cost anything and it only takes a second. So this all kind of ties back to the warning signs that we've been seeing in the job market. Mm. and certain companies that are very innovative in terms of like their AI use that are already shedding a lot of their their workers. Is it Intel? <laughs> and Google. Oh, and Google. Okay. And Microsoft. Oh, yes, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. So recently, um, we covered it here too, that Google got rid of 12,000 people because their AI model was so good that they didn't need people working in their ads division to um, kind of help out these companies tailor ads to Google mm -hmm. because the, the AI model became so good at it that they didn't need as many people working there. Yeah. And the same was for, I think it was, yeah, Intel and, and Microsoft and other things where they said that they... Which company was it again that they just stopped hiring? Yeah, I think it was Intel, which was 10,000 people because they was the jobs were going to go to eventually the jobs were going to go to AI. And the thing is, too, that it makes sense because these companies, the largest expense that they do have mm -hmm. is uh, employee cost because employee cost is so much. Uh, you think about this. If you could replace at least like one engineer, their salaries can range between what over 100,000, most probably 200 to 500,000 if you could replace one of those that's a huge cost savings mm -hmm. that you're able to have and the thing is like uh, AI will eventually I think the thing is that will eventually try to replace these jobs a lot of people think that it's going to be the lower end of the spectrum of the workforce replacing like um, people who do more manual labor but the mm -hmm. thing is the people who are doing uh, you still need those. You need those jobs because the thing is, the cost for those are the cost for those are less than running an, an AI. And the thing is, like if you're able to replace like one engineer for with uh, with AI or even two engineers, that's yeah. way more than replacing like let's say like a janitor mm. or someone in like the fast food industry or something like that. So this can be a whole like basically mimicked, but like on a larger scale at this point. Because if we look back at the computer revolution, when people were having entire departments of people like writing, physically writing out, um, you know, like, like books, workbooks, mm -hmm. and trying to calculate all this stuff by hand, you needed like a whole team to do accounting. Yeah. But now you can have a, one person potentially with an Excel book and then you're effectively doing the same thing yeah or get a company to do it mm -hmm. yeah, so i mean in that company is like doing multiple people's uh multiple people's um thing sam bankman freed was using quickbooks so you, you see he's paying 15 dollars to run a multi-billion dollar in, uh what would you uh yeah yeah, 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 that, yeah that might not be the best example <laughs> okay 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 but <laughs> But yeah, so let us know down below. Do you think that um, the advancement in AI is going to increase the amount of work being done but or decrease it? Because I do think that there is like a breaking point between like at some point that you just don't need people to yeah. do certain things. Where like because now you're replacing a whole team of engineers with one engineer that can run the AI. You know, you don't need a whole team. If you can let's have like one person kind of like code or do something and then like have AI generate the rest of the, the thing that doesn't need as much input. So, yeah, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below.